Hello Gemini. Today I'm going to be doing a special reading. It's going to be Outlook on Love for the rest of this year. It'll be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus as always, and it'll be a general reading so it will not and cannot resonate with everyone watching. Please keep in mind um, that this is a reading for a lot of people that are watching a lot of energies here. So um, take what resonates, leave the rest, check out your other placements, your moon, your rising, your Venus signs. Sometimes those can resonate a lot more than your sun sign. All right, so let's get right into it for Gemini spirit. What can you tell us for Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the rest of this year? What can you tell us spirit? I'm gonna start with some energy oracle cards. And then I'll get right into the reading. All right, Geminis, let's see. For Gemini spirit. What does Gemini need to know in regards to love? For Gemini, please. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, commented. I really appreciate it. Um, everyone who has left such kind comments, it does not go unnoticed. So thank you very much. All right, let's see. One more for Gemini. One more spirit for Gemini. So let's see what we have here. Wow, deceit. Some of you are dealing with clearly a liar or some sort of deception. Goddess of the moon. This is all about intuition, instinct. I think listening to your intuition will be very important at this time, these months. Financial constraints. Interesting. I feel like for some reason this isn't you. I'm not picking up financial constraints for you which tells me this is most likely your person okay let's get into the tarot I'm using the Re revelations tarot today it's a beautiful deck all right for Gemini okay, I'm just doing a free spread today um, it's not like a past, present, or future spread or anything like that. Just more kind of a flow, right? Like a gradual flow. So we'll see how this goes. What does Gemini need to know in love, okay? Oh, we got three so far. Six of Swords reversed. Now this deck, what's very interesting is there's an image for the reversals and there's an image for the upright. So I love, I love this deck. For those of us who don't mind reversals, this is perfect. <laughs> the Emperor reversed. Hmm. Six of Pentacles. What else for Gemini? Four of Wands reversed. I feel like when I put him back here, it focuses more. Five of Cups. Ooh, Gemini, you're dealing with some stuff here. I feel like you're missing someone or someone's missing you. Maybe you're missing each other a lot. Enough to want to return to each other. Let's see. Three of Wands reversed. Timing is not on your side, Gemini, or hasn't been on your side. 
It's caused you to lose power, control over the situation. You probably missed the boat or your connection. You missed an opportunity with each other. The moon reversed. I feel like something's gonna be revealed or like a secret because the moon is all about something coming to light, something being seen clearly for the first time or an illusion being seen for what it truly is. Um, I feel like that's gonna balance this situation out. It's gonna restore balance, restore, um, the equilibrium like it's like the, the equilibrium so like the things are going to get back to how they were supposed to be one more for gemini Two of Swords and bottom of the deck. Five of Swords reversed. So I feel like this connection, what I'm getting from this connection is it hasn't been smooth here. There's been a missed opportunity some sort of loss or failure, some sort of bad communication, deceit. I feel like this moon, this five of swords reverse is, has to do with this deceit card. Something that I feel like your intuition will guide you to know. And this discovery, because I feel like it's going to be some sort of discovery here, is going to lead you to make a decision. Please excuse my dog in the background. He is playing with a toy. So in terms of um, zodiac signs, I see Aries and Pisces. So I'm gonna go around one more time. Basically, I'm just gonna put one more card on top of all of these, and that'll be all that I'll do for, for this video and just read. So let's start with the Six of Swords. Actually, what I think I'm gonna do is just shuffle, and when it feels right, I'll take out all of the cards at once to make this video not too long. Okay. Six of Swords reversed. We got the Magician reversed. Three of Swords. Pain, you know, this has been very difficult. This situation, and I feel like it's for both of you. Here's the Magician reverse. You're curious how it looks. I know some of you like when I show the cards, so. Nine of Swords reversed. See, this Six of Pentacles with this Nine of Swords reversed tells me that as things rebalance, you will be overcoming the stress, the anxiety, the fear, the doubt, the guilt. It's going to all be made right. And you'll see a light at the end of the tunnel. Move this up here. Nine of Pentacles reversed. 
one of you in this connection is not single. At least one of you. And it's not stable there. Whoever is in a connection is not stable there. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Someone's taking action on this disappointment, this regret, whatever they're missing. King of Wands, we had a pair on the board here. Queen and King, one after the other. I feel like this is you and your person. This King of Wands is taking action on what they missed out on. Um, Either it was probably a missed opportunity or um, they missed an opportunity or they uh, the timing wasn't right. Knight of Pentacles reversed. So this is the slowest knight and when he's reversed, he is even more delayed. He um, still makes it to his destination, but he's very delayed. The delay will be because of this reveal. An opportunity is going to be delayed because of what is found out, whatever deceit is taking place here. There could be financial constraints for this person making their offer. Eight of Swords reverse. So it's someone take, getting out of feeling stuck, feeling trapped. So this is good. I see a slow progression here of going from pain and difficulty, seven of wands at the bottom. I'm gonna put that here with the five of swords. I feel like someone overcoming pain and difficulty, overcoming um, something that couldn't be manifested because I have the magician reverse. So I feel like someone has been trying to transition, trying to move towards a more balanced, healthier place uh, but they haven't been able to manifest this and i feel like this has caused a lot of pain for one of you or both of you where what hasn't been able to come together has been very disappointing very painful someone hasn't had the the resources or the power to rebalance their situation but i see that happening here with the six of pentacles i see someone rebalancing the situation they're currently in and overcoming fear guilt doubt the devastation someone's going to overcome this because they're going to see the light at the end of the tunnel and this in my mind is connected to this moon down at the bottom here some sort of reveal or secret coming to light, an illusion that is burst, um, is gonna cause someone to rebalance their situation and then go after an opportunity here. Now, the opportunity is gonna be delayed because I feel like there's a reason why this was so difficult. And when something's so difficult like this, I don't think it's easy to just pick up and, and move on. Whoever is in a connection at this time or in a commitment at this time, um, I feel that is, that is um, it's either a third party sort of situation because um, one of you in this connection is not single. At least it could be both of you, but at least one of you is not single and whoever's not single, whoever's attached to something or someone or dependent on something or someone, um, it's not stable there. It's not, there's no harmony there. There's no happiness there. Possibly not even love with the four of wands reverse. Now this is where it gets interesting down here because we have a queen and a king upright. And king and queen of wands are confident. Um, they have charisma. They are not afraid to take risks. 
they go after what they want and they usually get whatever they set their eye on or whatever goal they set, they usually complete it. Um, they, they can't be stopped in the sense of they don't give up. Whereas the King of Pentacles would really take his time to decide something and evaluate things from all different angles. The King of Wands would just go for it. What do I have to lose kind of energy? So I have a pair here that's upright, both of them. So it's almost like you're both going to come into this energy of action. And it has to do with a missed opportunity that was very disappointing. Um, there's a regret here. There is sadness. Um, you're both missing each other. And I feel like things didn't end very well with the Five of Swords at the bottom here and the Seven of Wands upright. I feel like either you know one of you blocked the other, one of you defended yourself against the other party because they weren't fair to you, they might have lied to you, um, the communication was probably bad, there was probably a bad fight, and one of you decided to defend yourselves against that. And there was a, a disconnect, a rift here. And because of that, someone has been regretful, feeling guilty, feeling like they can't really sleep at night. And I think it's connected to the past, what happened between you two. And I feel like you both want to do something about it. And I feel like you will, because here I have two cards, even though they're reversed, things are still happening with these cards. This Eight of Swords reverse, this tells me someone is literally overcoming and, and I also have the nine of swords reversed which they're both good cards to have reversed because it's it symbolizes both of you overcoming your mind the the overthinking that you've been doing the fear that you've had um the feeling trapped in your head uh these two cards reversed tell me you're getting over that you're overcoming that and that takes action, you know. Towards the end of the year, I see both of you coming into your own and not being afraid to take a risk. And this is going to lead to a decision. A decision that you're thinking logically about intelligently about it's not a decision based on just emotion i don't know if this is both of you or one of you but whoever is overcoming their mental prison their fear their guilt um this feeling of being trapped in your own head whoever that is they're going to make a decision and it's going to be a logical one and it's going to have to do with this moon reversed this moon reverse is going to be i feel like the catalyst. It's almost like a tower. That's the energy I'm picking up from this moon reverse. Oops, sorry. That was my dog, guys. So I feel for you, it's it's a very good reading in, in terms of like, I, I see actual action being taken here. And this Knight of Pentacles, this is a solid opportunity. This is a solid offer here. Yes, it might take him a long time to make this offer but when it comes it's it's a solid offer there is no going back on that offer and i think this king of wands you know if it would have been like a knight of cups reverse or a knight of wands reverse i would have told you you have problems but it's a knight of pentacles in reverse and they are very methodical rational and um hard working so this king of wands i feel like it's the reason why there there's a Knight of Pentacles here because a Knight of Pentacles does not give up. There's hurdles along the way. There's a lot of things that are on their like in their path, um, but the opportunity will still make it to its destination. You know what I mean? Like you'll still make it.
And whatever comes to light, whatever illusion is seen clearly for the first time, whatever secret is revealed, whatever, it could even be deceit that comes to light as well. Um, in its own way, it's going to rebalance things. And when that rebalance happens, it's like someone can actually see a light at the end of the tunnel. Hey, I don't have to be stuck where I'm at. And I think this has to do with whoever is in a relationship at this time. I feel like they're the ones that are feeling stuck and trapped. But I feel like whatever happens here, I feel like this King of Wands is going to be like, that's my opportunity. Bottom of the deck, I have the sun. You know, this is all about happiness, joy, clarity. So I feel like, yes, there's going to be financial constraints and possibly some deceit. And, you know, intuition is very important to, to keep in tune with your intuition so you are ready for what is coming your way. But I feel like it's going to be a green light. And this has been a long time coming. And something has not been able to be manifested all this time. Something has not been able to be manifested. Someone has not been able to return to whatever they want to return to. Whoever they miss. They haven't been able to return to them. And... I feel like it's all happening as it was supposed to. So have faith, Gemini. This King of Wands, Queen of Wands, they make a great pair. Lots of chemistry. Um, lots of fun. Lots of uh, respect for each other because you respect someone that goes after what they want and completes goals. Gets things done. You know, they work hard and play hard. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. And I love that they're both upright and right next to each other. And I think happiness is within reach here. All right, Gemini, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, commented. And I'll hopefully see you in another video. Take care.